Now, this story I loved um, because I struggle with timing myself. You know, I like to have these really in-depth conversations with people. Right. And I heard a tip that when you are ready to wrap it up, <laughs> that you have something you do, what is it? Okay, so when I was on the Today Show, because it's very, very finely timed. Oh, and that is live, know, it's, and that is a whole yeah. different thing. They will cut you off, the computer will cut you off. Vaudeville hook. So I said to this person I was interviewing, I said, you know, because they were not a professional, there was somebody who was just a, an amateur who doesn't go on TV a lot, I said, right. when it's time for us to wrap up, I'll just, I'll just briefly, you know, I'll just tap you with my foot, and that means comfortably finish what you're saying. <laughs> So I get the, 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 the sign from the person behind the camera. I go like that, nothing happens. I hit a little bit harder. I'm not gonna hit you as hard as I hit this person. I'm basically beating the pie out of this guy. Finally, I have to cut him off. He had a prosthesis. <laughs> Tell them, well, tap the other leg because I'm like, oh, I was so embarrassed. God. And then I felt, I felt like, God, I'm hurting him. I'm like, he doesn't have a leg. It was the most embarrassing thing that nobody knew I was embarrassed, right? So I shouldn't even be telling this story, but I do. What? How was your like goodbye to him? Like, did like, you thank mention? Thank you so it? much. No, God, no, 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 no. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, if he's not going to bring it up, I'm not going to bring it up. Right. I mean, You're he like, did okay, say. He said, yeah. I, oh, I should have mentioned or something like that. I'm like, I'm not going to say. Yeah, you should have. I'm like, you know, have you the guys been through enough? <laughs> Oh my God, that is just... It's no, then there was another time I was interviewing, we were interviewing the wives of the guys who were running for president. I won't tell you who it was. And the interview's over and we stand up in the commercial break and something fell out of her skirt. And you know how when somebody drops something, you make a move to like go down and get yes. it? Yes. I'm halfway down, it's her retainer. <laughs> Like teeth like, retainer? Well, well just the like, wire part. Okay. Yeah, just the oh, wire part. So gotta straighten those teeth. She was so sweet, though. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she, she was even quicker than me, thank the Lord. And she picked that thing up. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. And that's just life when you're constantly it's at fun. work. Yeah. These things happen. Okay. Now, speaking of things happen at work, you have done all this undercover stuff or, you know, all this reporting as we start at the beginning, you know, of all the different lives, jobs, shoes, roles you've stepped into so to much bring fun. us in. Yeah. One of them was a jail cell. That was not my choice. They made me go there. They made me go twice. So what is it they say? Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah. So, yeah, but that, this, I, this is what misery looks like. I am going around to these ladies and saying, I'm here because my producers don't like me. What are you in for? Because I <laughs> wanted to, like, know, okay, you just stole money from the McDonald's. I'm not too scared of you. You set your boyfriend on fire and his leg burned off. So, I mean, seriously, that was a lady in the cell next to That's me. That's what I was interested in. Yeah. When your roommate is someone, like, Terrifying. <laughs> burnt their boyfriend... Like, you know, allegedly. Set, yeah, allegedly <laughs> set him on fire. Do you tiptoe around that person oh, big real time. delicately? Oh, big time, Not yeah. wanting to no, upset we, them. Yeah, we're like, here, ha have my dessert. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my God, I love that no. story so it much. Is. And here's the crazy thing. So she allegedly set her boyfriend on fire. The poor woman could not make bail. She was in jail for a year and a half waiting trial. Finally came time to have the trial. Her boyfriend missed and loved her. He refused to testify. The woman got out and they lived back together again. Love is a beautiful thing. <laughs> That's the weirdest, happiest ending ever. I love that. This is, this is what we do at Inside Edition. We tell weird, happy endings. It's my favorite because it's just so... Um, dynamically diverse in its content. And that's something I want to do here. I love yes. comedy. Uh, why do we have to wait till late night to laugh? Yes. Screw that. I want to yes. laugh in the daytime. Right. right. I want to cover news. I want to cover human interest. It would be wonderful to speak to people of note. I want to meet people I've never met before. I like to get into fashion stuff. We're going to do that on this show. I want to have takeaways. I want to learn how to live better. I want it to be all these things. Inside Edition is that. And by the way, the pioneer in digital, the YouTube numbers oh God, are one huge. everyone yes. admires. Every business on the planet looks to Inside you. Edition Thank you. of how to do it. I'm talking hundreds of millions of hits. And we have, I think it's 19 billion lifetime views. It's insane. Wow. Yeah. There are, it's so crazy. So you guys know we're a TV show. You're here at the taping of the TV show. There are young people like 10, 12, 14 years That's old. That's how they consume. Inside Edition's a digital show. And they'll go to their... Did you know... There's this really great show I see on the computer. It's actually on TV. They think it's a new show on TV. It's crazy. We'll take it. Well, speaking of a younger generation, as a last story, I wanted to ask you about your daughter because 
I, as the mother of two, two dogs. Girls, and love by it, the way, uh, this is also in honor of Deborah. Oh. It's my latest gratitude journal. Yeah. She's the one who, when we were launching in the very this show, and I write in it, you know, all the time, and my daughters write in it. You guys all write in the same book? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, um, yeah, that was their latest entry. It's a hot mess. But, okay. I am, um, wait a minute. I am grateful for mom. The And then you guys went on a trip. Oh, my God. You and didn't see that yet? I didn't. And then oh. Frankie says she's uh, grateful for, for sushi. sushi, but it's spelled <laughs> S-O-O-S-H-Y. Sushi. Oh, she might go to that school my daughter went to. They were all about phonetic yeah, spelling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. And then I, I get friends to write so in it. So sweet. Sometimes I'll bring it to dinner and just be like, everybody write in it. Oh, I love so that. So you've changed my life with Thank this. You. So, so And I'm raising my daughters now to be aware of the gratitude journal. It's everywhere. But your daughter made your producers or you aware of a yeah. musician, and she was like, what was she like, mom, we got, you got to interview this? She did, she said, mom, there's this new guy, and he's really good um, entertainer, singer, and you need to put him on Inside Edition. So I went to my producer, and I said, my daughter says there's this amazing person we need to put on Inside Edition, and he ignored me, and Justin Bieber turned out to be famous. <laughs> okay. So like, then, cut to, she suggests another. Another group that she's already gotten her dad to bring the CD from London so she can have it. Mom, they're coming to America for the very first time and attention must be paid. So I go to my boss and I say, do not make me say I told you so twice. And he said, okay, fine, we'll do the story on one condition that Michaela does the interview. My daughter did the first American interview with One Direction. I love my plant. <laughs> that was great.